Hey guys, well, hey guys, and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. As you can see, my tank is empty for besides the Odyssey and Cliss and my um, uh, Pleco. And that is because, I don't know if you can see, I have a leak, guys. My tank is leaking. This is an old tank, um, a used tank. I've had this tank for a very long time, but I think it's finally leaking. So! Took the females out. They're in here temporarily with all the pothos. Put some plants in there um, to kind of make them feel secure. And I'm going to turn off the filter and the heater and I'm going to drain <clears throat> most of the water. And then I will catch my out of sync list as well and my pleco. And yeah, take this tank, I guess, apart. Which really sucks because um, I have a layer of clay under the sand, so getting the sand off without mixing it with the clay is going to be a pain in the butt. And I will either check it out and be able to see if I can reseal this, or am I going to A, need to get a new tank, or B, just not have a tank of twin gallons for a while, and relocate my fish to another area. I mean, I could put them in the 10 gallon tub with let with the endlers um, that has a filter, so that might be my backup plan. So we'll see how it goes. Banana's hanging out with me, so time to get to work. So I'm taking out the water. I actually have it hooked up outside of my window and it goes into our drain uh, gutter. So while I'm, I might as well just clean the sand kind of while I'm draining this tank. But yep, yeah, time to drain it until it's very low and then I'm going to be able to catch my autosynclus and as well as my algae eater and move them over to um, a different tank or bucket. I don't know where I want to put them yet. Oh, so much glare. But that's kind of what's happening right now. So I'm almost done draining this tank. The autosynclus and the algae eater are with the um, endler fry. I also put some plants with the endlers, so they'll kind of nibble the algae off of them. Um, two plants went when in the 20 gallon long. Females are still hanging out right here. I might feed them in a little bit. And then I'm gonna have my dad help me out, call them over so he can um, help me check out where the leak is. We're gonna take this tank outside and then we're gonna see if we can salvage this tank, reseal it, or if this tank will have to be finally thrown out because like I, I think I mentioned this earlier, I don't remember, but I got this tank for free. Someone threw it out by the garbage and um, so it's really old. It's, if you see, it's super scratched up. I don't know if you can see all the scratches on here. This can probably, I could probably clean off the scratches, so when we reseal, maybe if we do fix this tank up, I could actually sand it down and uh, make it the glass nice again. So who knows, who knows, but yeah, draining all of it. And uh, good thing that I noticed this this morning, because if I didn't, this could have been flooding my place all day, so... Always check your tanks. Never underestimate the possibility of a tank leak. So I moved the tank outside and put all the female bettas and pretty much as everybody is in the 10 gallon tub. I figured this was the best option and I put a bag of carbon right here. They're with the endlers. I dumped all the plants in here, put some lights so that you know the lights all the lights. All the fish can have some lights because I didn't want to keep them in this small container for too long because they probably would eventually start fighting. So I figured this will be the best option. I'm probably gonna feed them again or put them give them some rampashi gel, I'm not really sure. But they're doing okay. From what I've noticed, the endlers tend to hang out in the back and then these girls are over here so I can watch everybody. And they're all doing pretty good. Out of sinkless, 
is managing my algae eater is somewhere I don't even know where he went but yeah everybody is kind of doing okay here's my male endler as you can see right here so we'll see this weekend I will either uh, fix up and patch up the aquarium if I do then I will also sand the aquarium down probably so that um, it could to get rid of all the scratches because that aquarium does have a lot of scratches uh, and meanwhile these girls they can hang out here they'll be fine in, in this tank it's filtered heated and I added because of the added bio load I did and a um, add some carbon right here so this will kind of help with some chemical filtration besides the um, biological filtration that's happening in here Mail is doing fine. I still haven't done anything to this tank. I want to aquascape it really pretty. I want this to be a really nice tank, but I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. So that's kind of what's going on here. Now, if you look at my fry, they're doing well actually. Uh, they're swimming around. I fed them a little bit of brine shrimp yesterday, but I've predominantly been feeding them the rapashi gel food. That seems to be their main diet. I am actually going to give them some more rapashi gel food right now. And I did um, talk to another breeder, and she was nice enough to sell me her um, some of her Daphnia, live Daphnia that she has. She has a species, I forgot the name, but... The species is a smaller type of Daphnia, so I'll be able to grow them and feed them to my fry. And this food will help prevent the um, uh, swim bladder syndrome and will hopefully help them recover. Obviously, we're pasturing and other food sources. They will still be eating some brine shrimp. It's just going to be um, much more limited at the moment. Uh, right now they're really hungry. They're swimming around looking for food. I had some of the rapashi food right here and they seem to have pretty much eaten most of it. Some are still hanging out there. But as you can see, that one has swim bladder issues. But I'm going to give these guys a chance to kind of recover from the swim bladder issues. Because I've seen some um, breeders talk about it. And some say that they've had really bad swim bladder issues and, and eventually their bettas would kind of recover and then be able to swim a lot better. So we're going to see what's going to happen with these guys. Obviously I will do my very best to kind of give them the best chance at life that I possibly could. And that's kind of what's going on. I don't have anything super cool for Fan Friday. Uh, I have a good update that I will be updating my uh, cell phone plan. So I will be able to very soon probably more regularly make live videos from my phone. And we also updated our internet as well. So our general internet. So I'll be able to do uh, more live shows for you guys. I know you guys liked uh, the other live show that I did last time. Maybe I might do them on Friday. Maybe once a month will be a designated live uh, fish fan Friday. I don't know. I was supposed to ask you guys questions for today's fan Friday so I could answer them. But unfortunately, because of the tank leaking, I kind of got distracted with that. And then, what is today? Today's Friday. So tomorrow, I think I might. Oh, God. Oh, I'm tired. Tomorrow, I might go to the store and look at their tanks and see if there's anything that maybe it might be a good price. I know that a 20 gallon long isn't that expensive. I think they're less than $30 last time I checked. So maybe it might be in my better interest to just get a new tank altogether. Maybe in the future fix up the 20 gallon long and keep it as a breeding or grow up tank or something like that. I'm not really sure. I was not expecting this leak. And there was a whole lot that had to go through. I had to take out of the water, tear down my tank, as you can see. And now I have this mess right here. 
and I gotta I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna deal with it the thing that I am happy about is one I noticed early so I didn't have any leaks I didn't have any uh, water on my floor I did check the tank and it is still leaking so it's definitely not like a mistake that some water dripped or spilled no it's definitely is leaking um oh hello Are you guys hungry they're so cute so yeah the tank is definitely leaking but i'm lucky that a i noticed it early and b i'm really lucky that um i was able to have a place to put all my fish so luckily i have this already pre-cycled um, Tupperware container that I can keep all the fish in and this means that you know it's not too stressful for them obviously this doesn't look very pretty with all the light of the plants kind of just thrown in here but it actually will help with dispersing the aggression and also will help uh, to make the fish feel more secure by having a lot of hiding spots so in a way, even though this was kind of really unexpected, I don't think this is too bad of a situation, you know. Worst comes to worst, I won't have a tank for a while. I could reseal and try to fix this tank. Or maybe I could try to get a new tank. So who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Um, I really wanted to actually today make a video about all my pets. It was supposed to be like a uh, fishy fan Friday but with everybody. So I was going to introduce you guys because I have a lot of new subscribers. I was going to introduce everyone to the cats and the bunny and, and banana the border collie. But things did not go as planned so in this case I ended up just you know kind of filming something very simply. I just filmed this on my phone really fast. And kind of documented a little bit. It was unforeseen, but that is something, another th part of the aquarium hobby that you have to be prepared for and kind of be aware. Uh, tanks do leak eventually. Sometimes that you get lucky and you get a tank that doesn't leak. Sometimes you can get even a new tank and it could have a leak. So always check your tanks. Word of creative pet keepings, word of wisdom <laughs> of the of the month. Always check your tanks in the morning and at night for leaks. It's a good habit to have. And always have spare Tupperware container or bucket where you can house your fish. I have a lot of buckets, as you can see. And a mess. But, you know, everything worked out fine, luckily. Crisis averted. So I'm pretty happy about that. So, in the comments down below, tell me. What do you think I should do? There is a possibility that I could email some companies with aquariums and just, you know, it wouldn't hurt to ask to see if anyone would like to send me an aquarium to review because that way I can show it to you guys and test it. Um, I don't I don't know if anyone would, but eh, it wouldn't hurt to try, so I think I might do that. But that's about it, guys. I don't really have anything super interesting, unfortunately. I wish I had, like, a super cool video for you guys today. But, alas, I don't. So, I hope that you enjoyed the video nonetheless. And I know you guys probably enjoyed getting the updates on the Better Fry. Because they're always really cute to watch. They're growing really well. And I have actually noticed that some of them are starting to show red coloration. So, we might have some reds. Who knows? Who knows? They're so crazy, little babies. I wish, I wish my camera would focus on them, but look at them, they're just swinging around like crazy. So on that note, I'm gonna go guys, put this video together and upload it really quickly. I hope that you have an awesome day, I hope that you subscribe to this channel and check out all my other videos, and I hope that your fish are doing really well. Bye guys!